Right. Well, thank you for joining us uh, this afternoon. Let's talk about uh, those expected PMIs. Has anything changed in the uh, few uh, weeks that we have seen since the last re releases, knowing very well that uh, COVID is still very much with us, and in some cases we have seen a pickup in terms of uh, 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 infections rates across the continent? I could uh, ask him, uh, Dr. Yeah, and, 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 yeah, uh, certainly. Um, so, as the OAD PMI, I mean, it's clear that the impact is still quite um, dramatic on, on some of the economies. Um, as we found now, that after Kenya expanded at quite a brisk pace previously, um, the private sector there has come under a new pressure given the, the new sort of restrictions uh, to contain the rising COVID uh, uh, spreading in, in, in Kenya. So you will have to see um, uh, whether November is significantly lower, but also we know that the impact will be um, in December as well. So that's disappointing for, uh, for, for local uh, businesses in Kenya. But we also want to see what happens in other markets, Ghana, uh, Nigeria, where that expansion is continuing. We heard from the NPC statement last week in both uh, Ghana and, and, and Nigeria that they are really upbeat about economic growth, and Nigeria believing that um, they could actually um, move out of the recession as soon as quarter, uh, not just <clears throat> the quarter four, um, and latest quarter, quarter one next year. Um, I think they're a little bit of the most to think uh, in this current quarter they will uh, move out of recession, but anything is possible. Ghana too was fairly upbeat about their growth, both back and empty, so both of those central banks decided not to adjust their uh, policy rate. And then, of course, there's Zambia. Zambia has been, along with Mozambique, is one of the countries that's been uh, continuing to contract or continue to see contraction in business activity. Um, and we'd like to see whether either one, uh, Zambia or Mozambique, has moved closer to stability. Um, though I think Mozambique's chances of uh, doing that is probably better than uh, Zambia, given the challenges that Zambia are facing at the moment, not just in the fiscal side, but also the fact that the currency has come under significant pressure, yeah. pushing up inflation to well over 13% yeah. uh, in, 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 in the past month. Yeah. Are you picking up any sort of uh, linking themes, if you like, in terms of performance of those PMIs across the African continent? I mean, we're talking, of course, about a large uh, uh, territory, 54 territories that we're talking about. I wanted to see if uh, perhaps uh, there is a, a, a common uh, theme that's uh, driving sentiment in, 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 in those markets that you can think maybe to uh, com your commodity producers or perhaps non-commodities, or is it just how company countries are responding to the virus? So one of the common things for me that stood out um, uh, in, in October was that inflation for all of these uh, uh, markets were starting to pick up. And that is the theme across the, the PMI uh, for, for October. Mm -hmm. um, the purchasing costs have started to increase. We know that some of the markets are still being constrained by supply side challenges. Um, the supply chain has been disrupted. So they are finding now that having shed some workers that, despite the fact that they, their actual capacity is not so easy just to ramp up um, uh, production, um, and, and hence, purchasing costs are started to increase. And that has been reflected in inflation trends, uh, uh, inflation trends from, from across the, 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 the market that we, that we look at. Yeah. Um, there's also um, positive uh, evidence that some of the markets, at least, um, have started to take on um, additional workers again. Yeah. So most of them have, started, have, have shed workers, as I've mentioned before, since March, April. Um, but there is indication that one or two of them have now started to take on additional workers as new orders and demand start to improve. And they expect the trend to, to improve. It uh, remains to see, though, whether with uh, the sort of Festive season coming up and uh, moving into 2021, whether that trend is indeed broadened uh, across the markets, but also that it's sustained, yeah. and to what extent they can actually uh, take back to the because that has been uh, uh, the employment opportunities that have been lost over the yeah. past couple of months. I suspect that yeah. uh, we will probably take a while before we get back to the sort of um, employment levels that we saw pre COVID, yeah. um, but still we're moving in the right direction. Um, 
from the same time, the, 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 the local uh, authorities or the government have got very uh, limited space at this point to yeah. ramp up infrastructure investment, trying to support the economy. Um, and that, that is uh, obviously a challenge for 2021. Um, as much as we're looking forward to the new vaccine that's been developed and how that will um, ensure that economic activity uh, improves in most of our markets, it really uh, is all for very low base, and it's going to take a while before we get to like sure. said, pre-COVID levels uh, in terms of uh, in terms of growth. Yes.